Hello and welcome back to Alicate Review. Today we're going to be going over my Bergen. Alright, so this Bergen is a MTP PLCE short back Bergen. Um, great for sitting with your webbing, um, good support, um, but not ideal for using on its own. Uh, you probably need a long back Bergen. And it obviously just depends sort of what size you are, you know, how long your back is. I'm quite a short person, so you know, I definitely benefit more from a short back Bergen. So this Bergen then, I've um, it started off without any of the extra stuff that you can see on there, just with this front pouch here and the Bergen itself. Um, I did modify it the other day, so there's quite a lot of stuff added to it. Um, hopefully it'll hold up. I've not done the best job, but you know it's holding up for now and it's, it does its job. Um, so starting along the bottom, you know it used to have just have this front pouch here with the zip on it. It's quite a big pouch. Uh, not massive uh, the overall capacity is 100 liters um, plus a few little extra bits and obviously i don't have any uh, side pouches for it yet um, i also added on another pouch there and there so these are the osprey amount for utility pouches um, you know i just had a couple laying around extra so i thought yeah why not put them on uh, save me spending loads of money getting it done um, i just put it on myself nice and easy um, go around the sides first Okay, I also added on these uh, sort of mesh bladders onto the side so I can either put, you know, my camelback in there or a few extra little bits and bobs, um, little bits of clothing, etc. Um, and then obviously put the rocket pouches over the top of that. All right, but that's just made out of um, nice um, mesh MTP fabric. And obviously, it's uh, Velcro at the top. Do need to uh, tape everything up. I've just pretty much adjusted it to myself now. Um, so I still need to tape everything up and make it nice and tidy. But this is the uh, the back of the Bergen. I'm going to be looking at getting it tailored, uh, so getting extra padding on the um, on the shoulders um, because they're not amazingly comfortable, even though they are padded. Um, and obviously I'm going to get the back done as well, just uh, wick that uh, moisture away. You know, get the mesh uh, padded on the back, separate the shoulders a bit just to make it a bit more comfortable. Um, and obviously you can do long tabs in this, this is what you use uh, for um, you know, see more you can put your equipment marching order, this is what you use on your exercises all that sort of stuff, uh, used on the hills used for selection um, this is you know your basic Bergen but I've obviously added a few bits to it so obviously now it's got the hip pads as well I don't tend to use the hip pads so I do need to tape that up um, but you know it does give that accessibility uh, but when it's sitting on top of your uh, on top of your webbing at the back you know it's not a massive you know ideal uh, you don't need it it's not a necessity is what i'm trying to say now we see around the other side another mesh bladder on there okay so i haven't got uh, the free floating lid on this the uh with the buckles you know it's attached firmly to the top i might look at getting that done um, at the moment it's not a massive necessity for me um, on the top, standard, it's got this big pouch here, and a zip pouch, which goes right along. Um, but then on top of that, I added one of the um, armour panels from uh, Osprey Mount 4 vest. You know, I just had it spare lying around, so I was like, yeah, I'll put it on there. It's got a nice big pouch in here. Nice big pouch there, so you can put a few extra little bits in. And obviously, it's molly as well, so you can attach more to it. Uh, it's just easier uh, to have, there's more attachability, uh, but it's keeping it still nice and slim. Um, so that's why I put it on the top uh, for one of them. Open the uh, Bergen up, some nice robust clips on there. You know, I've never had any fail on me, so they are pretty spawn and great adjustability. Uh, if you look again on the front, I've got another one of them uh, armor panels. Uh, that's the pouch again, and obviously make it uh, molly compatible because below that, there's nothing there. There's no way to sort of attach any other extra little pouches, um, a basher pouch, anything like that. It's just sort of free space and, you know, I, I wanted extra. So that's why I put that on there. Um, on the inside, you've got two drawstrings. Uh, just a simple drawstring with um, the buttons on it. That opens up the top one. And obviously the, uh, the waterproof, the waterproof layer got another drawstring on it had to make that one because it can come with it open it up and it's got a nice big capacity so at the moment i've just got a sleeping bag in there but obviously like i said it can be um, up to 100 litres 
loosen that off a bit more, I'll be able to show you the um, the inner frame as well. So these bourbons do come with frames. Metal frame um, to help support the back, uh, keep everything nice and rigid, uh, but also comfortable at the same time. So it's a metal frame, three rods that go down um, down the, the back plate, um, and just keep it nice and supported, nice and rigid. Uh, stop it going all floppy and it just helps to support your back and that's just in its own little box there with the felt road and studded over all right and the final part is another zip pouch in here so i normally put sort of extra rations uh, make sure little bit quick to hand stuff really um, that's what i put in there it's another big zip pouch quite secure um and obviously i can put quite a lot of stuff in there um, other than that, uh, all I do is sort of attach my day sack onto the top of there if I need to, uh, if I'm going out on an exercise and I don't want to be using my burger all the time, that'll stay in the library or fob. So I'll just attach my day sack to the top um, and then, you know, just use that when I'm out and about. But that's a quick overview of my burger. So, uh, like I said, it's a PLCE uh, short back burger with uh, a few extra modifications. I'm going to be looking at getting a little bit more done to it, but if you do have any questions about the burger itself, uh, just drop a comment or um, message my Instagram. Um, that's how they keep review. Uh, you know, anything you want to say, you know, any questions or anything, just let me know about anything. Um, thanks for watching again, um, and I'll see you later.